Hi you guys. I'm starting off the vlog in the car today, obviously. Uh, I feel like the lighting is really going in and out right now, so I apologize about that. First thing I'm starting off with today is I'm getting a pedicure. I usually don't have appointments for just a pedicure, but my nails don't need to be done right now. Oh shoot, I just missed my turn because I wasn't paying attention. It's all right, we're taking another turn. We're gonna be there as soon as we can. Anyway, so I'm just going to get a pedicure today. Um, starting off my day on a relaxing note, I love it. Now I'm just driving around in a random neighborhood trying to find my way back to the street I need to turn on. So we'll see what we get into today. I really don't have too much plans besides go to my cycling class later that I always try to go to on Thursdays and I have to take some pictures later for a brand deal. Other than that, I'm not sure what I'm going to get into today, so we'll see. I don't know what color I'm gonna get on my toes. Not that it matters that much. I usually don't think about it that much until I like see the colors and then I just pick something. But I was thinking this time, this is gonna be like the pedicure I have for my sister's wedding. So like it, it might make an appearance in some photos because my shoes do show my toes and the way I'm getting my dress altered should show my toes at least a little bit when I'm like walking, I think. <laughs> so I'm overthinking it, but I'm like, maybe I should get like a light color or like a light green to kind of compliment my dress we'll just i'll show you i don't know if i'm gonna do a, a toe reveal uh <laughs> but now i feel like i have to since i <laughs> told you guys that i'm in like the busiest parking lot ever right now people keep coming in and pulling out but i got my nails done and very relaxing i actually kind of liked usually my appointments aren't till like two or three or something and it was actually kind of nice to like start the day with some relaxation like sit in the little massage chair and stuff so I got this like I basically got what I said I was gonna get I got like a matcha color I guess I'm not gonna show my feet but it's the same color I had on my nails like two times ago so I'll put in a picture of that and you can be like okay that's what it looks like on her toes but I think it'll be a nice color to have like with my dress and stuff for the wedding and also just a nice color for the rest of summer because I usually keep my pedicures for like honestly until it like really grows out because I always get gel so I usually keep my pedicure on for like usually like over two months but I just want to pick up some fresh bread because the other day I went to well the other week actually not them parking right next to me the other week I went to the farmer's market here and I got this amazing loaf from Gaston's. I guess that's how you say it. I, I honestly think it's like so funny that it's pronounced Gaston's Bakery and Mill, but it's um, a local Idaho bakery. They're not too far away from my house. So I decided when I ran out of that bread, which I did a few days ago, that I would go get another one. And I also wanted to see the inside and it was so cute. Like honestly, the outside of the building is not cute at all, but I guess also they literally like make tons of bread here. So it's more of like a factory vibe. So maybe it does look like a normal bakery. But anyway, I just went in and I got some loaves. I only intended to get one thing in classic me. I got um three because I have a bread disorder. So I got some beautiful French baguettes. And then this is the reason I wanted to go. This is their, I think it's called their country loaf or something. And this is what I got at the farmer's market. That was so good. And they told me it's like, why do people park right next to you? That's what I want to know. In a whole parking lot of people. That literally looked like my ex. Okay, I gotta finish this up because this parking lot is way too busy for me right now. I got that and then lastly, uh, because I'm hungry right now and I want to eat it when I get home, I got a gru, gru, gru I ne can never say this cheese right, Gruyere, Gruyere, Gruyere. It's so hard for me to say that, Gruyere, gru, Gruyere. I, I can't, it's just that and herb um, croissant. I figured since I don't have that much stuff to do today, I should make myself useful since I was already out and it's only like 12, it just turned 12.30. I figured I should just get some stuff done that I kind of been putting off. So I'm going to get my oil changed because I think the last time I did that was in Vlogmas. And I'm also going to get a car wash because I've been putting that off even though it takes <laughs> like five minutes. And then I think I'm going to get an espresso drink from Starbucks because I'm really fucking tired. I did not fall asleep until like almost 4 a.m. last night. I don't even know if I got six hours, honestly. I think I got potentially less than that or around six which that is not enough for me but anyway the whole vlog has been in my car today so far but we'll be going home after i do these errands
You guys might have seen while I was editing that I was wearing some new cute blue light glasses. I've been trying out pair eyewear and I want to try them on for you guys. Okay, so these are my frames. These are called the Reese. They're non-prescription glasses, blue light glasses. So thank you so much to pair eyewear for sponsoring this video. Pair eyewear also has really affordable, high quality prescription glasses, non-prescription, like I said, and then blue light glasses. So these are my base frame and then you can actually accessorize them because they have these things called top frames, which literally stick onto, I'll show you guys, they like magnet it onto your base frames and they have over 650 unique styles of top frames so i'm going to show you guys mine so these are all my top frames and like i said you literally just attach them and they stick to your frames and they come right on and off so these are my baby pink ones which i love because i've never had like a fun you guys know i don't actually wear glasses but i do wear blue light glasses but i've only had clear pairs and this is so fun for me to be able to like accessorize them based off my outfit or based off of the day i also have a pair of black top frames i feel like these ones are giving lawyer they're giving let's get down to business let's meet for coffee at 7 30 in the morning they are giving serious energy okay and then these these are a little fun and funky these are the sun tops which yes you can literally make your glasses prescription or non-prescription into sunglasses by getting their sun toppers they completely look like a different a completely different pair of glasses but it's just the toppers that change them up they have so many different colors and styles to choose from pair eyewear is more affordable than traditional glasses and their prescription glasses start at just 60 dollars. which if you have prescription glasses you probably know that is a really good price and their top frames like i just showed you guys start at only 25 dollars. the sun tops start at 35 so you can really take one pair of glasses one base frame to so many different looks and so many different styles and you don't have to buy like all these different pairs of glasses to achieve the different looks you want they make glasses for women men kids absolutely everybody out there under the sun i have truly never seen glasses that you can change out before and i personally love them because it's kind of fun to accessorize with your glasses whether you have prescription non-prescription or blue light like myself it's just fun to be able to add different colors and make them into sunglasses of course pair eyewear gave me a discount code for you guys and it is 15 percent off so the code is Lindsay Hughes 15 I'll have it on the screen right now as well as the top link in the description box let me know if you guys think this is a cool idea and if you try some out I would absolutely love to see yours okay I'm about to air fry some leftovers for lunch so this is half of a stuffed bell pepper that Jared and I made these the other night we made four and we just have one left I had half of one for lunch yesterday and half of one for dinner last night. They're so good air fried. It takes like four minutes to reheat it. And it has this like cheese layer and it gets all like, I'll just show you guys. It gets like charred. I'm gonna have that and probably a little bit of the mix on the side. It's also so, I don't know if you can hear that. It's so windy today. I'm not into it today. I just took Squirtle out and I was frozen and I wore a sweatshirt and a denim jacket and i mean this isn't much but i had basically three layers on and pants and i was frozen because of this wind so i'm not into it today but i'm just not gonna spend any more time outside today it's just not just not a day for outside and it's gonna pass and it's gonna be beautiful again and it's fine i'm about to have some lunch and then i'm gonna go upstairs and upload the vlog that i have ready for today it's actually already like ready to go pretty much i just have to do like the thumbnail in the description box but like the vlog is actually like already up on youtube i just have to set it to public so that's always good hey y'all i just finished my cycling class i didn't really vlog like before that or to tell you guys that i was going or anything but i think i told you earlier today but just finished that up had a good chat with kim afterwards we always talk about this is us and we bond over this is us so we were talking about like the new episode and the finale and everything like that next week but i am super hungry it's 5 46 so it's like you know about that time that i'm like dinner but then also it takes like usually me like an hour to cook dinner so i think i might head home and have like a snack or something and then decide what i actually want to like have and make for dinner i don't know i'm gonna think about it on the drive home because i'm so freaking hungry right now I'm, like shaking the camera because i'm like i always get a little shaky after when i'm hungry after a workout so Great class, so glad I went. I'm having a little snack. I feel like it looks really random on the plate, like we need some greenery or something. But I made some of my baguette I got this morning. I grilled it and put some red pepper flakes and sea salt. And then I have some carrots that I put ranch seasoning on. 
hummus, and some cheese. This is a little bit of an early dinner snack. Cannot wait. camera um it is about 8 30 now the night has been flying by since i got home from my class so i took some pictures with jared for a campaign for instagram so we just did that on the balcony it was so freezing out though oh my god like the windiness and the cold today i am not about it and i will continue to complain because it is basically summer and it was so freezing out there and it, the sun was still out so it's like why i just finished editing those pictures that took me a little bit and i'm drinking a poppy the root beer flavor one of my favorites i just did a little mini cleaning montage it really wasn't <laughs> that much just tidying up some stuff and like opening my mail and there was just a bunch of clutter so i did a little bit of that i haven't actually had dinner dinner but i'm very full from the snack that i had so i don't know if i'm gonna actually eat a dinner dinner because jared and i are gonna make chocolate chip cookies i think I haven't made cookies in forever and we've both been kind of craving them. So I haven't baked and like made homemade cookies in a while. It was a good day. I got a lot done today. I have officially checked off everything on my to-do list except for clear out the laundry room, which that could be done right now, honestly. So should we do another cleaning montage? Let's just get it done. So the whole to-do list is checked off today, which does not, I'm actually not gonna lie to you guys. I did not finish my to-do list on Monday or Wednesday. And today I will finish it if I do that. Tuesday I did finish my to-do list, but there really wasn't that much on it. Let's just be realistic about productivity, you know what I mean? I also haven't made my bed pretty much all week. So if that makes anyone out there feel better about anything. Okay, laundry room was clean the other day and now it has stuff everywhere. That just basically needs to be closed. The difference between an open closet, even though this is kind of organized, kind of, and a closed closet. Why is this even open? It looks horrible. The amount that doing that alone just cleaned up the look of the room. Okay, let's get to the rest of this.
giant cookies. Well, they will be giant cookies. Onto the sheet. Whoa. I've never made cookies this big. So I think we should space them out a good amount. Like I think we should do like maybe four in a row. Probably. Maybe three, honestly. Okay, the cookies are in the oven and they're looking so good. Um, sorry I couldn't talk to you while, well, well, I guess I could have, but we were listening to a record while I was like prepping the cookies and it just ended. I kind of decided I would do like a little music shot of the baking process, but I wanted to show you guys the recipe that I found that I use. I will say I've never used this one before, but I specifically wanted to make pudding cookies, which if you look it up, Basically, you put like a packet of instant pudding mix, not actual pudding, just the pudding mix into cookies and it makes them super, you know, everyone hates this word, but it makes them super moist and just soft. So I Googled a recipe that called for that because I actually had the vanilla pudding mix already waiting for the next time I made cookies. I'll show you guys them right now too. I know I showed you right before they went in the oven, but they are very slowly melting. So, I mean, those top ones we just put in, it actually only made like 13 cookies when we used a huge scooper. I got this like, sorry, it's a little dirty still, but I got this gigantic scooper. You could also use it for like ice cream and stuff. That's kind of why I got it to use as like both. Never used it before, so I'm very excited to see these gigantic cookies. But this is the recipe I used. It's from the blog called I Heart Nap Time. Incredible, amazing name. And they just looked so good. So I just looked at the best reviewed chocolate chip pudding cookies recipe. And this one was like, I mean, look at that photo. How do these people even get photos like this? I don't understand. So I'll link the recipe in the description box down below if any of you guys want it it's pretty standard you just have to add the pudding mix and everything else is pretty uh normal for chocolate chip cookies so i think we're gonna watch toy story tonight or did you say the og mm. toy story 2 we pulled it up on disney plus i just had an, a craving to watch this lately so we're gonna have a little chill movie night enjoy our cookies i can't wait what a night oh my gosh they turned out absolutely huge but so amazing they like doubled in size. We were saying we should have probably rolled them into balls because that's what she did in the recipe and they did get it like slightly deformed. <laughs> I won't lie. These ones look pretty good actually. This is my favorite one right here. This one probably turned out the best shape, like minus that little thing. So perfect. And I put little toffee chocolate pieces on the top right before we put them in the oven, which was a flex if I do say so myself. So now I'm just gonna wait for them to cool a little bit while we watch Toy Story. Hi you guys, it's Friday now. I just woke up a little bit ago and I'm just about to edit this vlog. Um, I think I got a good amount of footage yesterday so I'm not going to extend it into today. I feel like usually I do for my vlogs but it's fun to kind of have shorter ones sometimes and longer ones sometimes and I feel like yesterday was like a complete day and I like the footage I got. It was kind of like a productive but also cozy and relaxing day. I don't know if that makes sense but like a good mix of everything by the way the cookies were so good i didn't comment on them last night because we were just finishing toy story so good so i'll definitely have that recipe linked down below as well as don't forget to check out pair eyewear down below whether you want blue light glasses for working or non-prescription glasses to just accessorize or if you actually wear glasses and you're looking to get an affordable prescription i loved making this vlog for you guys i'm gonna go get ready for pilates and the rest of my day and i will see you guys really soon in my next video i love you so much